All right, a springtime does this thing grows wild in the Oklahoma outdoors. This time of year, people search uh, far and wide for what are they called here, Tess? The morel mushrooms. Morel the mushrooms. Morel mushroom. Okay. And Tess has brought some in today. Yes. We are in the Air Comfort Solutions kitchen for this week's Taste Test Tuesday. I have been wowed by pictures you've shown for years, and I've never understood the attraction to them. Well, they taste delicious. I okay. mean, when we say delicacy, that is not far-fetched. That is so true. So you hunt for them, and they only pop up about four weeks out of the year okay. in the springtime. So they're so, rare to find. Yeah. You don't get them all year long. You don't get them all year okay. long. And they haven't really figured out how to grow them, you know, like... In a, in, in a green room yeah. or, or greenhouse or whatever. So look how tiny that oh. is. It's the size of my fingernail. So they really blend in with their surroundings. So you have to uh. kind of keep your eye out. They get in, you know, places like kind that. I mean, patches. briar patches. Just when I think I figured out where, you know, where they like to pop up, they'll show up in a place where I'm like, you know, and you, nothing's around. Do you just pull them? That's do you cool. I, the, I cut the stem because okay. we like to leave a little bit there, hoping that it will help grow, you know, more in the years to come. So and usually you can go back to the same spot where you found them the year before and they'll be up again. You said so you don't want to uproot them yes, totally, right. ideally. Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. a great tip. Yeah, so this was, these that I found here today, um, I actually, I, I got them on Sunday and uh, wasn't morel hunting, I was turkey hunting and my husband, <laughs> it was so funny. That's a look at a, uh, they kind of look like little brains. I mean, let's let's be honest. Isn't that weird? I was gonna say a loofah. Can I feel one? Sure. Like I in just the shower. Let me like, get one. That are looks, they hard? Here, I'll get. Uh, these are a little bit softer, but they've okay. been soaking. Yeah, for, yeah. But they're they yeah. do, they almost yeah. The texture of them looks. I mean, we were talking about kind of looking like a loofah. Mm -hmm. Or a loofah or yeah. a brain. <laughs> or well, when you cook them, they definitely look like brain. So, so whenever we were hunting, it was my husband and I, and I spotted them. We were walking. We we're still kind of like hunting for turkeys and I mean I was like <gasps> and I pushed him out of the way he thought I'd seen a great big turkey right <laughs> no it was a morel and, and like here's that. the thing about morels they're not gonna run away they're not going anywhere so right. <laughs> you know, like I didn't need to push him out of the way this so, is my ideal hunting it is things that are gonna stay in place and I can just like pick off the ground so tell about your uh, your wash because okay. a lot of people online ask about what you use yeah so I this is just an egg and milk wash here mm -hmm. and then my the the breading that we use i take a i take club crackers and then i just take a rolling pin mash them to this and then i season them with salt and pepper okay and it's super simple but the breading is so good okay so she's going to put that in the breading and then she's going to put it in this hot 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 yeah it's 350 claim one real quick yeah, yeah go claim. ahead uh, yeah i'm just going to claim one real quick i'm going to grab mine too so i don't usually use gloves obviously but i'm trying to be you know, very you know well. thoughtful to you guys. Yes. So these we found actually um, mainly under cedar trees, which, you know, for years we would look under cottonwoods and ash trees, and that's where we found them right. mostly. But uh, these these surprised us in cedar trees. So. Okay, we get it well coated and drop it in the yep. fryer. Yep. And then how long do you usually let them cook? Mm. Till they're brown. Till they're brown. Yeah. So it won't take. Coated. Yeah. It won't take very long. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite. Yeah. Take a bite. These are Hopefully. so creamy and delicious. They're hard to describe what they taste like. Probably like fried batter mainly, but. Huh. There's like a, I think they're kind of, I feel like they're a little bit meaty. There's like a meatiness well, to them. Well, somebody said it'll be the best steak you've ever tasted. Isn't that weird? Yeah. It's That's fantastic. Cool. The aftertaste is good. And test the fry is perfect. It's hard to fry things right. Right. People That's mess it up delicious. all the time. They burn them. That is excellent. That is so good. Uh, Are you a fan? Are you going to be foraging? Yes. Well, Pretty good. if I see them, I'm going to pick them for Some sure. Some people will pop, find them in their yards just randomly. I hope so. All right. Hey, this is great. Thank wow. you for sharing. Thank you, Tess. This is so generous of you. This is wonderful. People said you can even put it on pizza, Alan. Pizza, We've pizza. done that. We've good. had it on pizza. There, it's good sauteed. Put it in a salad. Mm. Delish. Chef's kiss. Tomorrow, News on 6 at 9 a.m. Food Truck Wednesdays are back. Meredith is talking to one of the food truck owners. And we're going to talk with Jimmy Allen. The new